What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today as you can see we're near the bedrock ceiling of the nether and that's because we need to get onto the the nether roof for this farm we're going to be building today. Yep, that's right. We're going to be building a gold farm. I think I got all the materials I need in these shulker boxes. My inventory. So let's go ahead and get started. I don't remember what shulker box I put my ender pearls in. There they are. Because we're gonna have to ender pearl to this to the ceiling. Or to the roof. Now I've never actually built a gold farm, so it's gonna be a first time building one. What we have to do is it's like that. Yep. And then it was somewhere like right there. Where we got up, I do have obsidian and flint and steel so we can get back. Now we're going to have to go to a nether waste biome in order to, well, I think this is going to be the better place to build it. So we're just going to fly until we can find it. Let's actually grab, it's not really going to matter actually to be honest, but let's grab a screenshot of that so we kind of know the area. And then let's fly to nether waste. There's actually one right here. Which is really close to where I was, so that's perfect. So let's go ahead and land. And this is where we're going to set up shop and start building this farm. Let me get the basics laid out and everything, and we'll go ahead and get started. Alright guys, so first thing we had to start by doing is placing a whole bunch of scaffolding. And another thing I wanted to show you, I don't know if you noticed, but I did install Optifine for 1.18. So I got Optifine now, so we can zoom in, which is pretty nice. But yeah, I'm going to have to keep pausing and playing the recording, like, because I'm watching a tutorial on how to build this because I've never built it before, but yeah, let's go ahead and just get a little bit done, and then I'll explain how it's built, and then we'll go from there. Alright guys, so we're just going to start by building platforms, so we, on top of that scaffolding, put one block, we're on Y236, and we just go on three blocks each direction, and then just fill the middle in with glass, so it looks just like this all right guys so now what we did was we built that little platform we built a little bit up and now we're starting to work on the collection system for this farm so we're getting close to being at the part where we have to do the massive rings that are gonna take forever we're gonna take a lot of resources but we're gonna get this done so we're gonna have an epic old farm by the end of it Alright guys, now we got the fun part of the killing system. Um, so, on top of each of these rails, we need to place 24 minecarts. I do have 24 in my inventory right now for, for one of these. Make sure that when you do this, you do not, I repeat, do not walk into that. Because you're going to be taking uh, entity cramming damage. I'm going to get all these minecarts placed in. That's how we're going to kill the pigmen. It's by entity cramming. So let's go ahead and get that done. Alright guys, so we got a lot of the collection system done. And the killing system. So we got all this mess. Grindstones, trapdoors. So we got six trapdoors going up. Seven grindstones going up. Just like this. Now we gotta go grab some snow layers. I do have snow blocks somewhere that I gathered up for this. There it is. I do believe that's gonna be too many. It's fine. Should make sure to break that glass block so it's not there. You have to go five snow layers. that on all the corners and then um, yeah we'll go from there and keep building this farm all right guys so we got a little bit more work done I'm just climbing back up to the top to show you guys and then we're gonna actually start building the actual spawning platforms now I don't know if you can see it through the scaffolding very well but there's a ton of glass. 
ton of glass that I had to go ahead and place a giant ring of glass but now we're getting onto the magma cream or the magma part let's grab a little bit more magma so we hopefully don't have to come back down here but yeah if we fly up and I realize some of my farm's gonna be in a basalt delta, so hopefully that's not too big of a deal like this side over here. But, yeah, it's time to start building um, spawning platforms. And uh, this is gonna be fun, because we're probably gonna have to deal with gas. Alright guys, we're starting to build a little bit of the ring for the first layer, and we already got uh, a few pigments spawning. We got one spawning in over there on my good shulker box, but we got, we got a couple pigments spawning in already. Which is a great sign. It's a great sign that we already got a few pigments spawning in. That means we're going to be rolling in gold soon. Real soon we're going to be rolling in gold. Alright guys, so we're working on the last spawning layer right now. Why is a magma cream spawned in? What? Oh, it's because I haven't completed this top layer yet, so they can still spawn in. But I'm working on this last layer now. Got quite a quite a few pigments spawning in already, so that's a good sign. I'm hoping I'm gonna have enough magma. I definitely should. But yeah, I just gotta get this last layer in, and then we gotta get the um, the glass top in, so we can't so gas and magma cream don't spawn, and then we'll be done with this farm. Pretty much all we gotta do is. Then just set up the storage system down below. Get rid of our shulker boxes so those guys stop spawning down there. And then we can uh, test this farm out and see see how well it is. But there's quite a few pigmen. Oh, I have to get the alert pigmen in uh, their corners as well. But yeah, let's get this last layer done. And then um, I'll get the glass put in. And then we can work on getting the alert pigment in and uh, getting this farm finished up and ready to test out. I can't wait to test this thing out. I've never had a gold farm. It's going to be epic. Alright guys, now it's time to get the alert pigment in. I got pretty much the rest of the farm done. Just need to get the alert pigment in. Once they're in, we're good to go. This is going to be the fun part, though. So I got to try to get him out of the minecart without hitting him. So let's give that a shot. Perfect. Perfect. Now we name him something awesome. Boom. And now let's do that three more times and then I think we're ready to start this farm. Alright guys, I think we're ready to test this. Um, I'm going to set up the storage system in a little bit. Because I need to go back and get some comparators. Which I forgot. But I think we're ready to test this thing out. I'm really nervous because I do not want it to mess up and die. Like I hope I built everything right. Because if not, I'm going to die right here. Hopefully I built everything right here, otherwise I'm dead. It's going to get kind of loud, but they're definitely falling in. Oh my god, look at that XP! Hold on, let me turn down the volume just real quick. Look at that XP flowing in, though. We started out level zero. Bro, this is insane. It's actually insane. Why are those guys jumping around like morons over there? <laughs> it's working. I got my alert pigment in each of the corners. And yeah, we got... <laughs> We're already level 24. That is insane. I'm going to FK here for a while and see how many levels we can get. And what kind of gold we can get. Alright guys, so I um, <laughs> I FK'd for a bit. I'm, I now have 102 levels. I have... 28 blocks of gold 
And I got a little bit more flowing in. Thirty-one locks of gold. It hasn't even been super long either. Which is insane. We're just getting an insane amount of pretty good amount of gold. Not insane, but pretty good. We got a lot of levels now. Now, we still got a lot of time, and I do have a plan for the rest of the episode. Um, but I need to go back to the overworld for that. And I did build an auto-sorting system for this. I do need to go back to the overworld. But I need to find out where I put... Where I put um, my obsidian. There it is. So we're going to have to make a portal in order to get back to the overworld. Alright guys, let's light this portal up and see where it takes us. We're actually not too far from our home base, so hopefully it shouldn't take us too far away from our base. Hopefully we'll still be pretty close. We won't have to run or fly super far to get back just let this load and see where we spawn alright it is night time we're kind of out in the middle of an open area we are actually kind of far away for some reason there is a village still Now we could just sleep real quick in the village. Sorry, buddy, I need your bed. <laughs> need your bed, my man. But I, I want to show you guys why I really needed to build this. Why I built the the gold farm. But I need to get back home first, and I believe I need to fly off in this direction, and then we should. If the game wants to load, we should end up back in our base pretty soon if we go off in this direction. Hopefully. Hopefully I'm going the right way and not getting myself lost. Oh yeah, we just got like a thousand blocks to go. Why is it so far away? We didn't even travel that far. Hmm. Weird. Alright, I'm going to get back home and... Alright guys, so this right here is why I wanted to get this go because I got not a lot of valuables um, I have a decent amount of coal blocks but those are kind of just in there to make it look like it's not completely empty because right now I don't have a lot so let's kind of set this up how I want it um, kind of want it like this Two spots, two spots, and then actually let's move these over like so. And then these last, we're actually going to move these a little bit. And then these last two spots are going to be for netherite blocks eventually. But yeah, like my valuable chest is it's looking pretty bad. It is looking quite bad. And we don't even have a lot of iron. I mean, we have a little bit in those shulker boxes, but we don't even have a ton of iron. If we go down here and check out our iron chest, we don't even have a ton of that. Yeah, we got 62. <laughs> Which is not very much. Gives us six more blocks, but... Yeah, we need a lot... A lot more iron. But what I wanted to work on is I want to finish up the day with expanding the sugarcane farm. Because we're going to need a lot of rockets for something I got planned coming up. A lot of rockets and gunpowder, but yeah, I need to get my sugarcane farm 
bigger. So I'm going to go ahead and be crafting some observers and some pistons and things like that. And then we'll go ahead and uh, expand this thing. Alright guys, so I had a bunch of observers already made. I had a few pistons. I don't have a lot of pistons, but should be good to get us started. Actually going to need a bucket. And I'm too lazy to go grab another. Go find a bucket, so I'm just going to craft a new one. Let's get this started. I don't. I wonder how much I actually have. I just cleared it out not too long ago, so I probably don't have a ton. But I might have a little bit of uh, sugar cane. Oh yeah, I still need to get the glass put in. Eh, seventeen. Um. So now let's go ahead and fix this. And I kind of want to just start out by bringing it to the end. Bring it all the way to the end wall over here. We got a lot of kelp at this point. Um, so I need to bring this out like so. Get rid of these stupid torches that are making it bright so I don't die. Alright, let's get started. I'm going to have to clear out some of this dirt. kind of just want to get it to the end of this for now. And then we'll update it later on. Is it actually nighttime or is it just because of the rain? I don't, not 100%. It's actually nighttime. I got. I see a creeper. I see zombie squad. And I'm pretty sure it's actually nighttime. I'm not. Yep. Um, and that reloaded resource packs is because I was using my cobblestone farm. And if you hit F3 T, F3 T, it'll reload them all. And you'll automatically still be gathering resources. I might have to fly away and come back. Um, if you're holding left click and you hit that button, it'll keep the left click button down and you don't have to press it. So it'll automatically gather all that for you. Which is really nice. Is that enough? Looks like it's far enough to get all the stuff despawned. Perfect. Just check on this supply. Make sure I still got enough fuel. Oh yeah, I got plenty of fuel. Plenty of kelp. Good to go. Let's get back to this, um, this sugarcane farm. So the sugarcane's actually going to grow right here on that, on this block. Which means I am actually going to have to move the other wall as well. The sugarcane's going to grow on this block. So I'm going to have to move this wall. Uh, there's a lot of moving things around and getting things ready. Boy, it's going to be worth it because we're going to have an insane farm. And this is going to go up a couple layers as well. The sugarcane farm. It might actually. I'm debating on whether I want to bring that up or whether I just want to leave it. Because I'm planning on possibly building another one later on. Like in a mega one once I get my perimeter done. So this is kind of just a temporary thing. Um, so let's get the water. Start getting the water filled in. I'm gonna have to go grab some cobblestone to put my redstone on top of. Cobblestone and some stone bricks. Which I should have plenty over here. Somewhere in one of these chests. Oh yeah, tons of cobblestone. I should have stone bricks. I don't wanna have to make stone bricks because I'm pretty sure I already have some. Yeah. I don't need that many, but I'd rather get a wrap. I'd rather grab a couple too many than not enough. Alright, let's get this finished up. Get the water finished up. Perfect. Why am I doing that? Now let's grab this 
stone brick right here. Bring this all the way down. I'm not gonna... Huh? I might have enough to actually finish up this side. Just like that. Now we need to grab... All the pistons all the way down. Like so. And one more. Yeah, we have plenty. Plenty. To finish this up. Now let's get the observers and everything. And go. Alright, should be ready to go besides the glass. I got the hoppers in place. I'm going to need to get some more glass. But let's start planting some sugar cane. Let's actually run through the middle because I want to grab all of this sugar cane. Just to make sure I have enough. I should. But just to try to make sure I grab enough on my way. Hopefully that's enough. That way we can... All we have to do is grab the glass. And we'll go from there. Um, yeah, all we need to do is the glass, but it's it's updated. It's fixed. It goes all the way to the end now. Nice long sugarcane farm. And we should end up collecting pretty quick there, but there we go, guys. We got a massive gold farm now. Then I'm probably going to AFK a bunch between episodes. So get a whole bunch of gold and um, got our sugarcane farm expanded. And yeah, hope you enjoyed and we'll see you on the next one. Peace.